Hey up, how you doing? It's me, it's Big Juffer. Back with another Tuber's Ice Core Challenge video. Um, this is the last one of Season 5. And um, at the minute, going into this game, Maud is one point in front of me. So basically, I need to beat him and probably <laughs> get the 1cc to stand any chance of forcing a draw. So, I don't know, how will it go? Who knows, why don't you join me? Or not, I'm not your dad, but if I'm your dad, don't you ever drive like I'm going to drive in this right now. Right, anyway, Continental Circus. Should be called Continental Circuit, I think. Came out in 1987 in the arcade. I used to play it in the arcade as a wee nipper. And it was one of the first games that I could 1cc. So when the lovely Harold stuff picked this, I thought, excellent. And then started shitting myself in case I couldn't remember what to do. Anyway, racing game. A uh, bit like pole position in its viewpoint. Two gears, low and high. You can do a quick start like I just did there. I didn't do it very well. Uh, but basically the idea is you're a racing driver. You're going around all these different continental circuits. Not circuses. So there's no elephants and monkeys and shit. <coughs> Excuse me. Got hiccups. What you've got to do is finish each track within the time limit. And also qualify below that score in orange at the top right. So you can see it says qualify in 80th. I'm currently 89th. And that's probably all you need to know. Oh, yeah, the other thing is, uh, when you're racing around, you can take one hit, as long as your speed is red and not yellow. And you'll see if I get to a certain speed, that speed at the top left will turn yellow. So if you get hit when you're red, your car starts smoking. After a certain time limit, it will explode, unless it's raining. If it's raining, you can take the hit and just go around, because the rain puts the fire out. Excellent. Yeah, but if it's yellow like it was just then and you hit something, that's instant death. And the death costs you about 10 seconds in this game, so... Yeah, that's about it. I think that's all you need to know. I'm going to go and eat my breakfast, because it's um, 20 past 12 on Sunday and the submissions are due tonight. So I'll come back in a minute when I probably have my mouth full of toast and shit. But yeah, I wanted to qualify 80th. I've done this first course, I think on my previous run, I finished this one in 54th which got me well over a million points and that was stupid just aiming for that car there can't believe I did that but I kept the run going because you know winners never quit quitters never win go on mute for a bit bite into me toes because you don't wear that maybe you do maybe you're an ASMR fetishist doubt it though anyway back in a minute
Right, it's one slice of toast. Don't back for a bit. Um, the other thing we should really talk about is the scoring on this game. Because you seem to get bonus points at the end. And you get more points. Or you get, I think it's 10,000 each of. So like every second remaining, I think, gets you 10,000. Every car that you are under by the qualifying limit by, I think you get 10,000. And I think you also get 10,000 for all the cars you've overtaken. So at the end, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, having about 2.8 million at this point is pretty good, I think, so I was quite happy with this. And normally I can be in first place by the end of this track. So let's see how we get on. This one might introduce a bit of rain. I can't remember if it rained or not on this one. You see I was getting the back end a bit loose there. Don't get me wrong, it's not a simulation. It means. But it is a really good game. I do love it. And the 3D glasses in the arcade were pretty impressive back in the day, considering it was 1980, what was it, 87? So all the tyres that come flying out the screen, they were great in the arcade. Right, going to go eat slice two, as so we go to the Tunnel of Monaco, back in a minute.
quite well, isn't it? <coughs> Did clip that sign there, then that was a bit stupid. But drive on anyway. It's going to explode, it's going to explode, it's going to explode. I knew this was the last straight. I reckon I made that by split something. Two tracks to go, about five and a half minutes left. Getting a bit twitchy at this point, down to fourth place, smoking like a banshee. Can't hit anything, it will explode, so I did have to go into the pits on this. I was a bit gutted. still and last circuit Japan So 5.87 million, I thought this was a pretty good run, even though I made loads of mistakes, even though I had to pit. I think it is possible to score a bit more, I know we could get at least, I could get over the million on the first track, but I don't know, I don't think I've got the uh, will or the wherewithal to do it again to be honest. It is a fucking great game though. <coughs> Even if the French circuit does look a bit like a bit. I'm getting a bit twitchy at this point, thinking, come on, I'm running out of time. Move out of the way, you fuckers. Over the bridge, which means you're nearly there, so you've only got this left hander. And then think another one after this right. I don't know, this is it. I think this is the end of the, the circuit. So, that 850 points at the end of the score, you get another 110 points at random from somewhere. I don't know, maybe finishing bonus. It just clicked over there. So my final score is, what is it, 6,320,960. And you'll see that again in a minute. After I put my name in. He's jizzed all over the camera. I don't know why some of these names are in pink either. I don't know if it's because um, they're ladies. And then back in the 80s, we had to show who a lady was with a pink colour. That's how we rolled back then. I may give it one more go just to see if I can improve, but I don't think I'll improve on that.
Here comes the score, if you don't believe me. Yeah, 6,320,960. So I will take that. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it's enough to uh, at least beat more than trigger a tiebreak situation. You never know. You could put a blinder in and just win outright. Anyway, it's the Tubers High Score Challenge World Cup coming up. Um, so we'll be doing the draw for that. I'll be doing that later today. Bloody hell. Busy old day. Right. Thanks for watching. If you like that, come back for some other stuff. Uh, by the way, I did check on Twin Galaxies and that was the best scorer or beat the best score on Twin Galaxies. I might submit it there as well. Uh, what did they have? 5.9 million, I think. Cool. Right. Jobs are good. Thanks for watching. Love your work. Bye-bye.